Hi, it's time for a Habs fan reaction with me, Matt the Habs fan. Doing a Habs fan reaction film for the first two games of the season. First one against the Carolina Hurricanes. Second one against, of course, the Toronto Maple Leafs. First game, well, you know, the best thing we could say about that is that we came away with a point. Uh, it was a pretty good game, though, back and forth. Kind of burns a little bit to watch that Ajo skating up and down the ice, you know, uh, in his uh, Hurricanes uniform. Uh, you got to say, you know, hey, Bergevin, do or do not. There is no try. What kind of an offer sheet was that? Anyway, enough about that game. Let's move on to the Leafs game. I actually watched the Leafs game with some friends sitting around a campfire at the local KOA on my uh, little Panasonic Toughbook. Now, if there's a Canadian moment that's more Canadian than a bunch of guys sitting around and, and gals watching uh, a hockey game, Hockey Night in Canada, while sitting around a campfire, camping in October at the KOA. I can't think of what it is. Well, first goal of the game. That Mete, beautiful bank pass off the uh, boards. Uh, hits Lekkonen. Lekkonen turns on the afterburners. Scoots down. High speed zone entry. Beauty pass across to Domi, who makes no mistake and puts it away. So, Habs fans after that, woo! -hoo! Habs fans, though, for the rest of the game until the third period. Yeah. Basically, everybody else thought I was asleep sitting around the campfire at that stage. So, really, I mean, that style of play that that first goal represented, that high speed zone entry, um, putting on the afterburners. That's got to be our game plan offensively this year. We can't be, uh, I got a little uh, Habs fan monkey with me here. We can't be uh, goofing around with the, uh, you know, dumping the puck, poor zone entry. It's just not going to not gonna fly. Uh, we've got to have that high speed zone entry, that really good outlet pass. Um, so hopefully we see more of that kind of thing. But then, you know, the team showed a lot of heart and came back. Uh, from a 4-1 deficit, uh, loved those goals. Um, I think that uh, I think I gotta hold on. Be right back. Had to send the little monkey upstairs to uh, uh, eat her dinner. Anyway, that's the kind of that's the kind of play that we need. The other thing, uh, predictable power plays. What is going on with that? And that power play in the third period. They passed the puck across to Weber three times in a row. Three times in a row. They're all like, well, what's he going to do? Shoot the puck. Yeah. We need to get a little bit more uh, inventive with the power play. No question about that. I was waiting on him to fake the shot, pass across the crease. Somebody bangs in on the open side. You know, that would have been beautiful. But anyway, hopefully they can improve uh, the, uh, the power play. That would be really good. So, uh, what should the Habs fan say to his Leafs co-worker when he arrives at work on Monday morning? Well, here's some ideas. First thing, hey, did you know that if you break your stick during an NHL game and you throw it at an opposing player and hit them, that it's a penalty shot? I didn't know that. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Yeah, so after the game, uh, the, the Leafs' excuses started to fly in like the Leafs falling off the trees. Uh, everybody was saying that if Anderson had been in goal, that uh, the Habs never would have won. Eh, maybe so, maybe not. I thought um, Hitchinson there, I thought he played pretty good. Um, as Babcock said after the game, uh, the team kind of hung him out to dry, to be honest. Um, my hero, Steve Dangle, was talking about the Leafs in uh, his video, uh, Leafs fan reaction today. And uh, he was talking about how the Leafs seem to always spoil all of Austin Matthews' seminal moments. Uh, so my response to you, I'm afraid, is no, buddy, that's karma. <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah, what about that cute kid? That cute kid that's a fan of Carey Price's, and Carey Price has comforted the poor little guy after, I guess, his mother passed, so... Uh, what a cute kid, and I loved how during the game they would, uh, they always had a mic on him, you know, and he's there cheering them on. Come on, boys, you're still in it, you know. <laughs> Good on you, kid. Great to see uh, the young people uh, coming up and loving the Habs as well. 
Um, so, in closing, um, chirps of the game. Uh, first chirp. Lee's fans, expert excuse makers since 1967. Uh, let me see. Runner-up chirp of the game. Ah, uh, the fall. When the Leafs start to fall from the trees, especially in the third period. And uh, best chirp of the game. No wonder those uh, Maple Leafs are blue. They've been choking since 1967. Anyway, that's all for uh, Habs fan reaction. Go Habs, go. Good start to the season. We'll be back in a couple games for another Habs fan reaction. Ciao for now.